Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm a sewaholic. I am very excited today because this video is my first video ever where I take part in a sewing vlogger tour for a sewing challenge. And as you have probably seen from the title, it is the gift, a gift to November challenge. And as we're talking about Christmas presents, I am in my red um, Christmas cardigan, or not Christmas cardigan, but it is a Christmas red. And I am wearing my, I hope you can see them, my Christmassy socks. And I have my cute little Christmas mug here with um, tea inside, of course. And today I am going to talk to you about what I will um, sew up as gifts for the A Gift to November challenge. And I am pretty sure you have heard about the challenge before, but if not, I will quickly summarize it. The challenge was brought to life by two wonderful sewing vloggers. And these are Alison from SewLike.de and Adam from Adam Sews. And I will link all the people I'm talking about in the description box down below so you can check them out, but I'm pretty sure you already know them. And um, the challenge is basically all about sewing gifts for Christmas already in November so that you don't have, um, that you're not stressed out and last minute sewing in December, which is a great idea, I think. And you have to post if you want to take part in a challenge, it runs on Instagram. And on the 30th of November, you would just need to post a picture of the gifts you made basically and then just add the hashtag a gift to November 23. I will hopefully write it down here somewhere. And then also tag um, Alison, which is so like dotty underscore dotty lifestyle. And then also Adam at Adam Sews. And I think it would be good if you just write there also where you are living. So the prices, um, some of the prices are, I think, um, just UK based or, or able to be shipped to the UK. And that will help um, Alison and Adam when they draw the prices. And talking of prices, um, there are so many amazing prizes, so many amazing companies that um, sponsor this challenge and take part. And I will hopefully somewhere here insert a few visuals that um, Alison and Adam have made so you can see. And the first prize is a craft sewing machine. So that is basically goals. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to win a, a puff sewing machine? Nobody, probably. Um, yes, and I think I quickly have to check if I have forgotten anything I wanted to say before I start with my gifts. Yes, I have forgotten something. And I wanted to tell you who did the vlogs yesterday for the vlogger tour, who um, does one today with me and then whose vlogs are going live tomorrow. So yesterday's videos were uploaded by the Umbrian Sewist and Liz from The Baker That Sews. Today with me, um, Rachel from Stitched Up will upload a um, gift to November vlog as well. And then tomorrow it will be Adele from So, Seren so For Serenity and The Stitchy Wife. And as I said, I will link all of them down below. So be sure to check out their videos. And Alison um, also made a playlist on her channel where you can see all the videos from all the vloggers. So there you have basically a curated a gift to November uh, vlogger tour 2023, which is awesome. And I really hope that I haven't forgotten anything that has to do with the challenge. Um, 
If so, I'm very sorry. Watch all the other vlogs and you will probably get the information you need. But I also want to say a big thank you to Alison and Adam before I start. I can only imagine how much work it took to um, get all the sponsors on board and do the visuals and that kind of stuff and the vlogger tour and thank you so much. You're great guys. Okay, so without further ado, I will talk about the presents and at this point, if you're watching and you're family or friends of mine, do stop watching now because I will make a lot of gifts for friends and family for nearly everyone I'm gifting to and it is very likely that you are one of those people so please just turn off the video I am not um, offended by you turning it off here I just don't want you to see what I will make for you for Christmas so please do it okay so just um, like one of the other vloggers I think it was Julie sews her own clothes. Um, I saw that she had one of these whoops, project bags where she has all the gift, a gift to November projects inside. And that is the same for me. And I will just start by picking out what is on top. And this is, um, I think I have to take this one here. These are little coasters. So just coasters for your cup of tea, for your um, hot or cold drink of choice and for these I have made a um, sewing pattern which you can find on my Etsy shop Cottagecore Living Co. I will link all the tutorials and patterns um, that I talk about also in this description box down below and this is technically not a gift because one of my friends asked me if I would sew her up um, some coasters in this special fabric combination and she will pay me a small amount. So um, yeah, but I have in the past made these as gifts as well and I will sew some more up here, here and then bring them um, to Vienna for her because she lives in Vienna and um, I just think these coasters are a great gift idea for anyone who likes to drink a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and you could do them in many amazing scrap fabrics or Christmas scrap fabrics for example and I just think it is a super lovely um, little present as I said, for anyone who likes to have a little drink sometimes and who doesn't. So these are the coasters. Then second on my list are bookmarks. And I, some of these gifts, by the way, I have already finished and some of them are still in the making. So um, this, for example, is already finished. It is a little bookmark for one of my friends, I already gifted her a bookmark two years ago, I think, and she lost hers and she asked me if I could make her another one. And I thought just Christmas is the perfect occasion to gift her another little bookmark. And these are just, it is just one of my um, own patterns. I mean, it's not even a pattern, it's just rectangles, um, but they're so, so easy to make. I, could also do a tutorial about these or make a pattern for um, my Etsy shop if you would like but that's basically the, um, the bookmark and I chose a very nice cotton lawn fabric for no not cotton lawn cotton poplin fabric for this one and then there is a little tassel here and what I also thought is that I will make a few more of these bookmarks out of Christmassy fabrics that I have from the last years. And then I will just um, give a little bookmark to all my reading friends. I have a book club. Um, we're three, no, four um, girlfriends who meet once a month for um, discussing a book we have read. And I thought that I will sew them up, um, the three girls, one bookmark each with a little um, uh, 
Christmas themed fabric I will show you and then just send it out to them. One of them is my best friend. She's living in the same area as me, but the others are living a few hours away and I will probably send these bookmarks off in the post, but I thought it is just very a very cute idea to give my my book girls um, something small for Christmas and I will quickly grab the fabric so I can show you what I have in on my mind. So the fabric I will probably use is this one and I bought this one last year in Cornwall and it is just a very cute little Christmassy fabric with these cottages and um, trees and snow and I think it would make some lovely uh, bookmarks. So that is also on my list. I will put the fabrics down here. Then the next gift is a bit of a special one because it is a bib. And it is a bib for my grown up dad. <laughs> he, um, he works in a bank and he wears white, um, white shirts almost every day. And he comes home most of the time um, at, for his lunch break to my mom's and dad's house. And my mom is cooking and then he is very concerned that he gets his food on his white shirt. So some years ago when I started sewing, he asked me if I would be able to make him a bib, a very big one. And I did. And then my mom said this summer um, if I would be able to make another one for dad for his birthday. But honestly, I didn't have time then. So I decided to make him another bib for Christmas. And I finished this yesterday. It is a lovely green olive green double gauze fabric. I just self-drafted the bib, to be honest, it is quite big, as you can see. And then I just bias bound it around the edges and the bias binding also goes into the straps that you can secure around your neck. And then to make this a little more special, I decided to do hand embroidery. And you can see here, I embroidered a little P. I hope you can see it which is for Papa, which is German for dad. And yeah, I took the double gauze. Um, I took two layers of double gauze. So on the back of the embroidery, it is just plain. And the back of the embroidery is um, enclosed between the two layers of double gauze fabric. And I really hope that he likes his new bib and that he is pleased to have a second option when the other one is in the wash. Next up, I have a present for my sister, for my middle sister, and it is a um, hot water bottle and a cover, of course, that's the handmade part. Um, my sister moved out of her, out of our parents' place this summer, and when I moved out from our parents, I didn't have a hot water bottle, so I thought that maybe she doesn't have one and I think in winter it is just the best thing to cuddle up with a hot water bottle. So I basically ordered this one and then I um, used this very very nice checked fabric I got in Dublin. It is a brushed cotton and just made a um, made a cover for the hot water bottle and I quilted it it is the same fabric on the inside just because I didn't want to waste it. It's such high quality and nice fabric and um, yeah, you won't see the inside anyway. So, and then I made a little, um, a little loop with a spine here and a cute little um, button and then she will be able to close it and in the back it's just Plain, but as I said, it is a quilted um, cover for a hot water bottle. And to be honest, um, in this household, we only have one hot water bottle. And my partner said he would kind of like one for himself. So I ordered another one, but a slightly smaller one for one liter of um, water, I think, because I want to make him a cover out of a special fabric that I'm pretty sure he will very much appreciate. And it is this Christmas 
see doggy fabric that I got last year from Hazel's sister. I made some Christmas pajamas out of it. And I don't have enough left for a big cover. So I ordered the smaller one and I will be able to get out a small cover um, for the hot water bottle out of this cute fabric. And I think, I hope he will be pleased to have his very own with his very own um, cover. So that's um, for my sister and my partner. And then, oh, here, here's the pattern, by the way, for the hot water bottle cover. Um, I will try to find out where I downloaded it from, but it was too small for my bottles. I had to um, make the body quite a bit longer. So bear that in mind, but I will try to link the, the pattern down below. It was free. And then I have one last thing that um or more than one but it's one type of gift um, and these are just headbands and i made this one out of a um like what is it called a brushed sweatshirting that kind of stuff it feels like velvety and the Headband has a lovely twist in the front. I got this idea from one of um, Ruans from the Yorkshire Soul Girl. Um, she uh, vlogs because she did last year Vlogmas. And sometimes she did these lunchtime tutorials. And one day she did this tutorial for headbands. I will try to link it down below as well because I think they're so quick and easy. They are perfect for your sweatshirting or jersey scraps. And um, my mom always has gets um, very cold ears and her ears ache when there's too much wind. And so I will um, give this black one to her because she said she, the ones I made her previously, they are all quite out there fabrics and colorful fabrics and they are not for everyday wear. She would like to have some more um, they're just basic headbands. And then I had some uh, leftover checked fabric, which is also very cute. And I made two headbands of, out of this fabric. And I will probably give one to my mom. So she has two more um, like basic headbands. And then I'm not sure if I will give this to my um, sister or if I will give, give each of these to one of my sisters. That's to be decided. <laughs> but I think just these headbands are a lovely gift. They're easy to make and they're very impactful. So I think, to be honest, this is already all the gifts I have planned to make. And I am quite um, pleased that I already made some of them fully up. Some of them are not yet finished or not yet started, but that's okay as well. But I will definitely be able to um, enter some of these into the A Gift to November challenge. And I'm super pleased about that. So I hope you enjoyed my little vlog. And um, if you did so, please do give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to um, watch all the other lovely vlogs from the other vloggers. And um, don't forget to share what gifts you sewed up in November on Instagram and enter them into the A Gift to November challenge. Take care guys. I hope you have a wonderful pre-Christmas time and I will see you soon back here again hopefully. Bye guys.